storage made easy appliance. In this video, we're going to configure the IP address of it, assuming that DHCP is not available in your environment. Now, in my environment, I do have DHCP, and so my appliance's IP address is displayed on screen. And this is what will be needed for a future step of configuring the appliance. Assuming, however, that you don't have DHCP, you will not see this line. So what you'll need to do is log into the appliance as the SME config user. Once you do, if you press SME and hit tab twice, you'll see that there are a number of functions available to you. The one we want to use today is SME Net Config. This tool allows you to uh, configure a static IP address to the appliance. I'm going to enter my new IP address. In my environment, it happens to be 172.20.25.110. I'll enter in my subnet mask. My default gateway and my DNS server. If you have a secondary or tertiary uh, DNS server, you can enter those in here as well. Once you're finished with this configuration editing, press Y or type in yes and hit Y to apply the settings. Once you've done this, please type sudo reboot. Once the appliance reboots, you'll find that it's rebooted with the new IP address and that that will be displayed on the console screen. If the IP address displays incorrectly, press enter and the screen will refresh. As you can see, this appliance is now running 172.20.25.110. This concludes the video on manually configuring the SME appliance IP address 